So EA refreshed the 87 plus base, win some wildcard or team of the year icon picks. Let's open up a bunch of these and hopefully get something good. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable ultimate team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code HABER. I don't remember what I got last time, but it wasn't a team of the year icon. And I don't think it was very good. It was Butchagueno, I remember now. Let's see what we get this time around. Come on, EA. We got ourselves uh, all three bases and Raul. Great. That's uh, that's awesome, EA. Thank you. They also re-released the iconic halftime pack, which of course will open up yet again in the hopes of a base R9, base Mirham, base Rodaldinho, Cruyff, you know, players along those lines. Here we go. EA, who are we going to get? We've got French. Be at least Ribery. Like, just be decent rated. All right, 88 Ribery. And... I have been scammed. I have been absolutely scammed. I have been absolutely scammed. Are you joking? Pedro Porro in there. Like like that matters. Oh, man. <laughs> really? Okay. I need, I need to learn better than consistently opening these, man. I really need to learn better. That did not go to plan. Terrible icon pick. Almost even worse, iconic halftime pack. Hopefully, the share plays today are better than that because that was terrible. We've got John's icon pick now. Roberto Carlos is good. I don't know why. Thought that might have been R9, but, you know, that's just me being tired today. But Roberto Carlos is not bad. 285 pluses now. Mm, I mean, it would have been all right. Bit of fodder, I guess. Um, next one. Come on, EA. Let's get something decent here. Let's get a hero. Why not? No, nah, never mind. All right. Our next icon pick to open now. Harman Deep's what we're saying. Sour. Sour's not bad, actually. I think uh, she's not as expensive as Roberto Carlos, though, is she? How much is Sour's base card? 420k. I think Roberto Carlos is about 750. But it's still not bad if you don't have the team of the, team of the year, Sour. Team of the year, Sour, already. All right. Lala's icon pack next. What is Lala getting in the icon pack pick? Muller. It's a shame we don't have Thunderstrucks in these, because Thunderstruck Muller would have been all right. I feel like EA could have probably replaced base with um, Thunderstruck and Centurion icons, and it probably would have been as, like, bad on the bottom end, I feel like. But EA a little bit stingy. I just don't think that bases should be in these anymore. And if they are, maybe we up the rating. All right, next 87 plus base winter wildcard or team of the year icon player pick. They're definitely worse this week, aren't they? They are definitely worse, unfortunately. All right, we have got George's 85 plus picks now because he's too cheap to do the icon pick despite packing Schneider and Paolo Futre and Marquisio fantasy heroes. Yeah, we know your we know your game, George. Oh, Lima Lou's already had two upgrades as well, by the way. Uh, very nice. I've been told apparently 86 to 88 is one upgrade. I don't know, man. I'm so tired. Um, next icon pick, though. What we're saying? Come on. I think EA forgot to put Team of the Years in them today, I think. Um, it definitely, definitely some kind of mishap behind the scenes. These aren't great today. These aren't great. I'm hoping that there's going to be a rotation change and they're going to get better. Udol. It's a new, new Team of the Week right there. Um, hopefully, Crass is going to get himself something decent in his, though. Boutra, that's all right. We'll take Boutra Gueno. It's not terrible, to be fair. Uh, not amazing, but not awful. About 600k. All right, we have got Moe's icon pick next. So far, the best player has been Roberto Carlos. Oh, my word. Let's go, dude. Let's go, Bobby Charlton. I'm not kidding. That's the first Bobby Charlton of the entire year that either we've packed or we've watched someone pack via share play. That card is unbelievable, by the way. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow. 1.2 mil as well. Let's go, Bobby Charlton. United legend. Get straight into this team at Cam there. Brian Zaragoza. See you later, my friend. All right. Jake's icon pick. He already has untradeable team of the year R9. You know where this is going, don't you? you know, EA could do the funniest thing ever. They didn't we get ourselves another stinker icon pick but 
Bobby Charlton is still great, so, you know, we're still living off the Bobby Charlton hype right now. We also got some global limit packs today, which I'm going to open up a few of. We've got ourselves a 600k 83 times 100 pack, which is a 97% chance of a Fanny FC card, 10% chance of a hero. I mean, 83 times 100 sounds really good. That seems like a really, really good pack to open. I just feel like you get a lot from it. Uh, we're starting off with Endler. Double walkout here. I just feel like you get a lot of walkouts on this, to be honest. And then my club is empty. We have... Well, I say it's empty. It's empty of, like, high-rated fodder. We've probably got a lot of 84s and stuff in there. But, um, you know, it's pretty empty of all the fodder. Hello. Inform. Okay, four informs. And then, like, a bunch of fodder. What have we got towards the end, though? Fantasy FC cards? Hopefully. None that I don't already own. Maybe duplicates? There's a 98% chance. There you go. There they are. Unfortunately, we already have all of them. Uh, Yan Kuta would have been really cool. But uh, unfortunately, we already have all of them. So uh, I'm just going to discard those. And I'll probably come back to the Fantasy FC cards at some point and put them in SBC. But it's nice to fill the club up. We'll open up another one of these anyway. See what we get in the second one. Will we get anything good? We don't get an inform in this one. So we're not getting messy, unfortunately. Um, Casemiro, double walkout. I'm just going to skip it. We've all seen double walkouts. We want to see a Fantasy FC card that I don't already have, man. We get Udol. Come on, please. Please, EA. One that I don't already have? No. Okay, fair enough. Who have we got in the dupes? Ugh. Mate, Pedro Porro is so common, isn't he? They also dropped tradable 85 times 7. So I'm going to open up one of these because it's tradable and see what we get. Hello. We do get ourselves a Fantasy FC card. It's going to be all ban. Wait. This could be a double Fantasy FC card here. It is a double Fantasy FC. Oh, okay. Never mind. Flipping out the nose on her. Um, well, I mean, we got, you know, double walkouts, I guess. I guess. Double Fantasy FC cards. Not ideal, but, you know, at least it's uh, at least it's something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list them up because they are tradable. Uh, that could be a lot worse, to be fair. But also, like, they were the only two walkouts in the whole pack. Um, and we'll open up one more 83 times 100 and see if we can get ourselves a Fantasy Hero. We got ourselves an inform. Gonna be messy. Why not? Let's get an inform messy. Who's this? Inform Matt O'Reilly. 88 rated. I actually haven't looked at this week's team of the week, to be fair. I just saw Danish Celtic, so I just assumed. And Ariola? Fares. Alright. Okay. What else we got? Inform Galeno and inform Capetti. Please, show us a hero. Please. Never mind. Go on, we've got a duplicate De Declan Rice. No, we don't. Just the same three that we keep packing. Brilliant. That's awesome. Thanks, EA. All right, my second account now. Time for the icon pick on my second account. Of course, we're doing it blind as we usually do because we enjoy pain. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, okay, I bet there's R9, yeah. Well, we got ourselves Bobby Moore. Duplicate, brilliant. We're going to open up the iconic halftime pack on my second account now anyway and see what we get. Let's see if we can get ourselves a decent icon. We got ourselves Sanchez or Hernandez as the main one, but we get a double walkout, so we got a higher rate than 89 coming. Come on. Can we get like a good icon from one of these? Please, man. My camera's gone out of focus. That's how bad the icon pack that that right there is. That my camera's just gone out of focus. Maybe a fantasy card in there as well? No. Wow. Oh, yeah, there was one, actually. That is awful. All right, my boy Suds icon pick next. Now, he wants a stat reveal, which means the Quavers are coming back out again. Let's see if we can get something good with the Quaver stat reveal. Remember, not a sponsor. All right, so physical's there. We've got to sell 78 physical. 50 jumping. So it's probably someone quite tall. Um, 86 defending. This definitely feels like a defender. Ooh, 81 dribbling for a defender is good. Hello, who is this? 60 shooting. 83 pace. I don't know. Zanetti. It's definitely not someone tall then. Yikes. I don't know why I thought that was better than what it was. Uh, next up, we've got 75 physical with 88 jumping. 93 heading accuracy. 95 agility and 92 balance, 82 passing, 88 shooting, 91 pace. Is this like Puskas? 
Sanchez. Ooh, not great. Okay, fair enough. And then we have got... The last one's got 83 physical, 78 defending, 81 dribbling, 85 passing, 87 shooting, 81 paces like Balak. Yeah, Balak. Cool, what a guess that was from me. Um, I mean, Sanchez is okay. To be honest, Sanchez is all right. It's not insane, but it's not terrible. Um, the rest of it is incredibly mid. All right, next icon pick. Come on, EA. Come on, let's get a first huge dub, please. Second huge dub. Why are these so bad today? Like, these weren't this bad a couple of days ago when they first came out. We got a couple of Team of the Year icons. We got some decent stuff. Today, these have been awful. We've opened up like 15 of these and we've not even seen one Team of the Year icon. We've had one decent player. Bobby Charlton's good. Roberto Carlos was decent. Butra was all right. But aside from that, we're just like, it's just not been good enough. We've opened more than 15 of these, by the way. Let's see what this one's got in store for us. Fernando Torres is all right, to be fair. Fernando Torres is not bad at all. How much is Winter Wildcard Fernando Torres going for? About 600k. It's okay. You know, it's a decent card in game. Uh, he's got five-star skill moves, but aside from that, it's, you know, it's not a team of the year. All right, he's got the Poyang Steelers badge at the back. Bring the luck here. Come on, EA. Bring the luck with the Poyang Steelers. Ribery. Why can't you just be the team of the year, Ribery? If that was team of the year, Ribery, we are bouncing off the walls. It's still good. Don't get me wrong. Ribery is actually really solid in this game. But just be the team of the year next time. That's all we ask, EA. That's all we ask. All right, we're going to end off today's video with my boy Ruben's icon pick. Let's see if he can get something good. The 20th icon pick of the video. Can we end it off with something decent, please, EA? Here we go. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you later.